Okay, so I'm downtown right now uh, in the Leoda area. Um, and today I'm really excited. Just got out of the office and I'm gonna head out to the fake markets again. Go all the way down to the Guangzhou railway station on line five and do some exploring. Now I'm really excited because it's gonna be my first fake market, copy market, whatever video of 2020. And since the last time I've done one of these videos, there's been so many amazing sneaker previews of what's coming out this year. And I can't wait to see if I get to see any early shoes or early fashion or any of the gist. Okay, what I'm really looking for is the Jordan 1 Dior's, um, the Jordan 5 Off-Whites, uh, and it's anything that's set to launch. Maybe the DMP Pack 6s, which I want an authentic pair, but I want to see if they're there. Some some of the LeBron 7s that have been coming out in Retro Wing, um, just the Kobe's that are Retro Wing. Just, uh, there's so many different things I want to see. I want to see if they change up the fashion from winter wear and coats to maybe some spring stuff. Because today, it's January 8th, I believe, or something like that, and it's... It's 26 degrees here in Guangzhou. So I'm gonna head out, maybe grab some lunch first, but get on the metro, go to the markets, and hopefully there's everything that's gonna blow mine and your mind. Now, I've had a word from a few people that the police were doing their checks and the markets were bare. Um, this happens sometimes, you go there, and the only thing on the walls are like Yeezys or shoes with no design. They take all the high brand stuff like Jordans and Nikes off just to, you know, hold the legality of it here. Um, Cause it's still legal here to have those products, but it's just kind of in a gray zone. They turn a blind eye and sometimes, unlike most places in the world where counterfeits are a big no-no. Um, and that's why personally, I don't buy them. Uh, I will never export them, um, but I like to see all the fashion that's trending here and stuff in one place and also to bring awareness to people that are considering buying from a second hand, a reseller or you know just anywhere online that this stuff is out here, it's good quality, it's high quality, so be careful when you buy. Anyways, I've talked way too much already, let's get going to the fake markets. As you can see, the metro station is very busy right now because it's close to Chinese New Year and this metro station is connected with a bus depot and a railway station that takes everyone out of the city, you know, back home for Chinese New Year, which is two weeks away and the great migration is starting to begin. It'll be even more crazy a week, two weeks from now, as every day gets closer to the holiday. Anyways, I'm almost there. I just gotta go down this hallway and then I gotta head upstairs and take a minute walk and I'll be in the market area where there's wholesale everything, copy everything, fake everything as well. And let's cross our fingers that there's tons of stuff for us to see and stuff like that. Okay, let's keep going. So I've made it to my favorite area of the market. You see you got all the shipping like DHL and stuff over there, SF and Chinese brand shipping. But this area over here, is my favorite area. I've seen a lot of security and police around today. Um, and there's not as many Chinese people around. Probably just because it's that close to the holiday. Um, and not too many foreigners. So it should be nice looking in the shop. So I'll probably be the only one in the shop. Um, but hopefully they're open for a lot of stuff. Just peeping in the doors. It looks like most of the people are still going to be open, but the first four I'm seeing, you know, I've only seen like sunglasses and other stuff. The shoes are what we're really here today for and 
designer and hype clothing and stuff like that so you know I'm gonna head down to the entrance here and go downstairs first I like to start off my videos now with the basement and work my ways up only the first floor and then the second floor third floor stuff like that it's there's still a lot of stuff to see take in but it's not involved of what I like to look for but let's go let's start the adventure I'm just going to keep going along as this is an adventure let's try to keep to as minimal cuts as there are and you know what I know a lot of you guys like the raw footage we don't need b-roll we don't need any of that so let's get going I'm gonna pop you guys in Hopefully the first I go to, they always have a good selection, sometimes new stuff. And hopefully all the stores are still the same. You know, you got denim over here, but we want sneakers first. Yeah, it's open. Music is probably going to be horrible though. Let's see, anything new. Let's see. Yeah. Gucci. Yeah, some Balenciaga triple S. Oh, have a look. Something. This is a new color. Oh my god, that made me look ridiculous. There's no cover on this one. Oh, yes, yes, yes. First look, Dwarf Chanel. Ooh. So yeah, 800. It has a very strong smell. And then Chinese New Year. All of these ones have very strong smell and not the correct leather. Well, people have wanted to see some Balenciaga, so here's a great look. New Z 500 highs. No off white Jordan 5. No. 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 Already off to a really good start. I'm so happy I saw those Jordan 1 
Dior's. Um, that price is way ridiculous. I mean, it's really nice and soft, but I mean, for a copy, no one ever pays 800 for a Jordan 1, especially when it's not actually the good leathers and everything. Um, there's too much music in here for me to stay in here for long. Have a quick look, and if you like anything, comment below. I'll come back and check it. Oh, here, everyone wanted to see it. These Dior's. But nothing else really in here. Chinese New Year. So most of the shops are starting to get the Chinese New Year stuff in. Um, I'm going to head to the back and zigzag myself around inside the market here. So I'm going to try to get some clothing in for you guys too. But right now it looks like winter coats. And I'm sure most of you have seen my winter coat video. Shop's got the Philippine tracksuits, but yeah, still winter coats. Hasn't switched up too much and looks like nothing else shoe-wise down this aisle. Here's some belts, all the Philippine wannabes, but belts and accessories and leather, this is not really the market for it. There's one close down the street, but not this one. Let's see. Okay, but just too much music, so gotta move out of here. And uh, they didn't have the one thing I'm really looking for because we've seen the Jordan Dior ones. I'm looking for the off white fives. Just another basic shop, yeah. That Let's keep going. Clothing wise, let's see. That shop there had Fear of God Essentials and stuff like that. No. Take a look at these. A lot of people love the Sakai's, so you guys can see that they're here. More Balenciaga, Triple S. Man, these things are just way too heavy. How could you guys want to wear that? Yeah. Uh, let's see, any designer over here that I'm missing? No, not really. So, so far, tell me if there's anything I you're so angry at me for passing up right now, just walking by it. Um, leave it in the comments, flame me, fume. Call me an idiot for not picking it up or touching it. Maybe it's your favorite sneaker. Maybe it's something you want to see more detail on. So let me know. Because I personally look for the things that excite me or that are early releases, or, you know, just it's personal opinion. Everyone's got their flavor, their taste. And especially if it's something I've seen at one of the other shops, you know, I don't spend too much time dwelling on it. Lots of music all over today though. No, some of the stuff that you guys might say, oh why didn't you pick that up? It's because I've already previewed it in my previous videos. So I mean, if you're new to the channel or have missed some of them, then definitely just go back and check out the old stuff. Because there's a lot of old stuff. A lot of it. And it can use some views. More places got these up high ones. Gucci's down there, more triple S. But the Dior's. Uh, Do Xiao. 
，谢谢。So the, everyone can tell there's a big demand for those kicks right now. That's why they're trying to charge, you know, butt rape. I really hope the quality is better than that because the leather on those was pretty nice. It's soft, it, it's done well. The stitching and everything was done well, but obviously, you know, they're going to be made by hand, the real way, and they're probably going to use way, I mean, I'm saying probably, this is all speculation. I assume because they're Dior and they're designer, they're going to use way better leather than just the regular Nike contracted Jordan leather. You know, I'm really hoping they use a leather similar to what, you know, Gucci uses or the higher end brands use because it's so nice to get that nice, warm, soft, buttery leather that over time ages well and even when it creases a bit, looks really nice. No. See. So bucket hats, they, this stuff is all really popular over here, the Chanel bucket hats and beret and some Supreme stuff, you know, box logos everyone loves to see, stickers and teddy bears and the backpacks. We got the air horn. Little Louis rabbits. And this stuff here, this is for your dog. The belt and suit shop. Okay, nothing back this way. Let's, let's head back down this way. There's some shops I missed, obviously, I think, because um, this side all the way down here is normally just like uh, clothing. Crazy rack guy here. Forget what brand it's from. It's from like a cross motocross company, I believe. Or the, oh, I used to know that stuff so well when I was younger. I was all into that biking and skateboarding stuff. But as I became an old man, as I like to call myself, I kind of, you know, lost touch with all that stuff more focused on family and making bank now and not, not a lot of clothing has jumped out at me yet either. It's all the same winter stuff I've shown in the winter clothing and the coat video. Okay, so there's only a little bit left down here. We got a couple shops maybe right and left. They all tried to check. One or two shops over here, and then a couple shops the other way. You know, one shop I definitely can't check. Showcase, but once again, it's your opinion that oh, why'd you miss that? Leave the comment, drop it. Almost about to head upstairs, that'll be our first cut. So let's keep going, keep going. Oh, we got that's a nice uh, the texture was horrible. Okay, hopefully, this place, this place, let's see what they got. Ah, this place, they got some Y3, but in 750s, since the 750 V2 should be relaunching, uh, not relaunching yet, launching soon. I'm excited for that, but let's see. There's gonna be this shop over here, but I might have to stop talking because the music here is always blasting. And let's see. Ah, just the same regular stuff that I'm gonna see upstairs. So there's one. Oh, it's the baby, Sir, Sir, sorry, I almost got it on. That's that's a great song. 
and he's just out of jail. It's some wild shit. Anyway, so we're going upstairs now. First cut. Again, let's have a look at this shop. Nothing too crazy right here. We're at October's. Nothing more. Okay, first floor. Okay, let's have a quick walk around the first floor. As I say quick, you know, quick in my terms is maybe like 10 minutes or so. So there's some sunglasses, some bags. Now the first floor, in my opinion, at this market is more of like a tourist trap. People that first come to this market get excited to see some low quality because they don't really know the quality products like the shoes, the bags, the really low quality designer clothing. It, that's what you mainly see in designer shoes on the first floor. As I walk by, I have a peek in. Like, let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Christian Louis Vuitton red bottoms, but they don't feel anywhere close to what a real pair feels like. The suede is really bad on that, and this, the spikes on it, and like, those ones are real plasticky, but it's, even when it comes to the plastic, it's not the same quality plastic as you would see on an authentic pair. Well, it stinks over here too for some reason. And you can see like they got Adidas tracksuits, but they're men's sizes, but they're extremely small and undersized. I mean, you make the product though for your clientele and most of those clientele here are going to be Chinese locals. Now see what I mean by the shoes, if you just stare right into the shop, you can see that it's not what, you know, someone that knows about sneakers would really get excited about just generic everyday stuff. I'm not even seeing like LV stuff that would be collaborated with Virgil. Now, I don't know if you've noticed that, but there was a guy behind me just trying to follow me around. People always get interested on why I'm talking. Um, you can see some of the stuff here just on the first floor is really whack. Like really bad copies of the six rings. Looks more like a six ring low. The stitching and swoosh is not on par. But, I mean, first floor is the floor you come to if you're looking for hats. This is where you can meet a hat retailer, wholesaler. Maybe get in touch with the factory. So I'll weave a couple more aisles, but then we'll head upstairs. This shop here always has an okay selection, sometimes has newer stuff. They like the easy high up uh, again. They got the Dior's, but the quality of this one isn't as nice as the one that was downstairs. Oh, off white ones and the yellow that is rumored to release. And but just uh, without even picking these up and putting them in my hand, the quality of these ones are not even triple A. They're more of that double A quality where you can notice by look, not notice close up in hand or nowhere close to being a one of one. 
if I say you way about the fakes and copy Yeezys and Jordans and stuff here, this market really isn't the place to get a connection for UAs. Everyone always asks me, where do you find the one of one UAs? Well, the first thing you need to know is, do you even know what the total quality is yourself to say, oh, you got a UA or a one of one? Um, no, you don't. UA is just a term out there you can, no one can prove. Because at the end of the day, you're getting it from a second hand, you're not getting it from the factory yourself. So the only one could turn around and say, oh yeah, yeah, I get them from the factory. Mm. Well, everything comes from a factory, but it might not be the exact Nike factory itself. These are some nice braces. And let's take a quick look down here. A couple of these shops always had a good selection. That's some machino. Oh, this is small, small. Yeah, this is not the shop I was headed for. I think it's over oh, yeah. here. See, look, one shop's already shut down, probably due to Chinese New Year, and they've gone home. Stuff is being renovated here. Now, a lot of these shops here, they got kids shoes over here and people have asked me to see some kids shoes. But I don't think I can fit it in. Uh, in the back room, if you were the people that have asked me to see kids shoes, tell me the time to go back in the video and I'll go check out those shops. Mm. Yeah. So once again, I've really powered through this first floor. Oh, it's a 150 RMB box. Oh, blue 350. Uh, I'm, I'm really sick of the 350 V2s now. Four Ds, not a big fan. Fear Gods and the Bronze up there, but I haven't seen any of the Bronze 7 retros yet. Okay, I gotta make my way up to the second floor where things get a bit more interesting. Because right now this stuff is just... No, it's, it's, I know it's not what you guys want to see, but you know, it's showing the whole market is what a lot of people like to see because they want to see kind of what the experience will be if they come here themselves and if they should invest the time to come on this adventure and have a good journey you know it's the whole thing i like to show you guys what's trending in fashion right now let you guys know what to be aware of anyways too much talking let's let me get upstairs Okay, we're going up the escalator, second floor, the last floor I really have a look at. Hopefully there's some nice new clothing, and mainly those shoes we're looking for. Take a right. And another right. Versace sneaks. Loafers. Oh, the shop fully changed up. There used to be a ton of sneakers. That was a real nice shop before, but maybe they just moved somewhere else. Anyway, let's go down this aisle over here. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong shop. Yeah, I think that other shop I was talking about is right over here. Yeah, this is the one.
usually when I walk into there, they kick me out. So I'm gonna spare it. It really, really stinks up here right now. And it's not the smell of shoes. It's not the smell of the shops or even chemicals or leather. It's the smell of some of the customers. It smells like body odor. Woo. Okay, so. I have a look. There's nothing right here that I really like and if I don't move quickly, this is going to get me so Let me move 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 and We're almost at the shop. I like to look at that has The newest stuff always and a good selection It's basically when you're at this shop um, It's like you're on sneaker news or soul collector or something Here we go, Louis. Let's see what else we got in here. Just a little bit of designer for you guys. Oh, they're doing construction. But I got my everyday shoes on, stompers, Air Force Ones. Let's see what, anything else here? No, but they still got the Travis Scott Louis in the shop too that I just showed you. Not Travis Scott, sorry. Um, oh, Virgil Abloh's. Man. It's messy in here. So this is where I was hoping to see all of the fashion stuff, but the renovating, you know, not too much stuff I can show you guys. It's, the shops aren't updated because why do it when no one's gonna come in this area when you got all that crap on the floor? Okay, I'm gonna go in the back area show you the toy section that I always like to walk by because it just looks so cool and then hit the shop that's down this way to the left that I always got to check when I come here this is like the area I started in, in my previous videos once again they got the Dior's but I don't see the one shoe that's eluded us today and that is the Jordan 5 Off-White. Pictures are out. Are they really going to release in a certain color? We got to see. No one knows. None of them are here yet. So maybe they just speculated. Okay, let's walk in. Anything right off the bat. That guy's a person joining fours. Now I'm not seeing anything new new that I haven't shown you previously. Oh, here we go. Six DMPs. 
Nossa, sim. Painting is good on it. Um, the materials like that hard. It's not really suede-ish. It's it's. I think the real pair will be a little bit different. I hope it's a little different. This is not soft. It's really rough. So this is I'd say probably a double A, not a triple A. greens are coming out this year but these are the Ray Allens because it has that there so it's not the same ones that are releasing later this year see stock X tags verified it's always interesting to see These are weird. Air Force with the backward swoosh. Oh, Air Force Travis Scotts are back. Yeah, so there wasn't a lot in that shop. Um, from here on, I'm going to go where there really isn't much. At least in the past, there hasn't been much for quality or new products. So I guess we're probably not going to see the Jordan 5 Off-Whites, but we've seen some new products that are going to come out. And I'm going to try to focus on more designer. I mean, we've got Comme de Garçon. Up here, there was a fly laying on it. Head down this way. I have a feeling that I'm going to be clumsy and just fall. Let's get out of here. Too much. Okay, we gotta pull it through. Okay, so let's go in the final area. Now, the area I'm going to now, there's always a lot of people there because it has like probably some of the lowest quality but popular shoes that people like and cheaper prices. So there's always a lot of people there that you know are buying this stuff to take back to like Africa and places where their currency isn't so strong but still want to have brand name, whether it be copy or not. So sorry if I've taken you for a shaky ride this whole video, but I'm walking around with the camera on the chest mount so my hands are free. Okay, we're almost there. It's that place down at the very end where you dip down into, technically it's the other building, but just a little bit lower. And then instead of taking the escalator, you can go up the stairs back and forth in between the two buildings. But here we go. In this side, I mean, there's still things like vans and stuff, but vans are so cheap. Unless your country doesn't have vans, I mean, come on, why would anyone ever need vans? Well, well most of the stores I just said that had the vans and the Converse, they're empty. They were just there on the right. Okay, so yeah, you can see this place is pretty bare. I'm gonna probably leave soon through this escalator. Oh, here we go. Quick 
quick small look. I'm gonna circle around. But by this time, I mean, thank you guys that made it this far to the end of the videos. I know these videos are always really long and basically you could be watching a podcast or doing something. Oh, look at that. Gator King LeBron 11s. I had a pair in men's size, but those were really bad. <laughs> really, really bad copy of it. I mean, it wasn't even the correct design, but I saw where they're going with it. Um, but yeah, if you've stayed all the way to the end. You could have spent your time watching the podcast. Sorry, guys. The camera died. There wasn't a lot of exciting stuff upstairs. Um, nothing new that I haven't shown you previously. Uh, but, you know, if you made it all the way to this part of the video, I mean, you're a true fan, true subscriber, you could have spent your time doing a lot of other things. I mean, you could have watched or listened to a podcast, but you chose to stick around with me, and I'd like to thank you so much. If you want to see some more stuff, like stuff that I cut, um, more content, ask me to personally go look for something to show you display, um, I have a Patreon where I try to use my free time to help people out. Yeah, it costs a little bit of your hard-earned money, but my time is so limited. If you really, really want me to spend my time looking for that one specific thing, I take a small fee to do it for you. But in the meantime, if you don't want me to do that, then you know, just keep watching the channel. And there'll be constant stuff coming, like I said, in my... 2020 video of what's to come. My first pickup. These sneakers I have on right now. My everyday sneakers. But that's been enough. So I'm going to head home. Enjoy the rest of my day. And until next time, Hollywood, take it easy.